Hey, Sneaking Nerds back today. Yes, I'm back and back and back and back and back again. Today we're with Archbang 2011. Yeah, this one came out ooh, a couple of months ago. I just didn't get around to doing it, so I'm just catching up. Now, Archbang is a bit of arch, as you so know, with a bit of open box, so it's nice and quick and lovely jubbly. And it's all ready to do for you, really easy, easy peasy. So it's just like bang in the ISO, go to the installer, bish bosh bash, you're installed basically. So here we are. Now as you can see, it's a little bit basic. Remember, it's not a really big download. I think it's about four or five hundred megabytes, if I can remember correctly, which I can't, because I can't remember really. I'm just going mad. But anyway, it comes <laughs> comes with one of the latest kernels, by the way. We've got a bit of conky or whatever it is over in the corner here. There are lots of shortcut keys, as you know, and if you've used Crunchbang before, same sort of thing, but this one's just with Arch. That's the only main difference. Now, what do you get with it? I hear you cry. Oh, don't cry for me. Anyway, applications. <clears throat> we get accessories. Now, you don't actually get a lot with it, okay? But then it's up to you to install stuff. It's not up to them, it's up to you. Basically, they give you a base system, and off you go. And it's Arch. Okay. You get catfish and you get character map, <clears throat> calculator, leaf pad for your leaf paddy stuff, parcel light and X archiver, under graphics, all you get is Jiki. Jiki. That's all you get. Nothing else. Jiki. That's all you get though, really. That's all you get. Go away. Okay, next we get <clears throat> excuse me. We get Aurora, which is a bit of Firefoxy really, isn't it, when you think about it. So we're up that but yeah, no, I'm gonna do the other stuff first. Under office, you don't actually get a lot. <clears throat> You don't get anything, really. It's empty. It's up to you to get what you want. So if you want Abbey Word, you get Abbey Word. If it's in the repos. If you want uh, LibreOffice, you get LibreOffice. Entirely up to you. Or as a thorough, it's just an online PDF, you're, as far as I can remember. Now, under Other, you'd get your monitor settings, Adobe Flash Player, customize look and feel, blah, 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 panel tint, preferred apps and tint wizard. Sound and video, you get Dead Beef. Oh, yes, for your music, which is quite nice, all right, it? You also get, if I go back there again, <clears throat> Known Player and XF Burn for your burning. Okay, I'm not going to open them up because you know what they look like. System tools, you get a battery for your battery if it's on a laptop, and you get a system profile and your dexter sort of thingy terminal sort of thing. Okay, and you also get places, places even, places. I'll go to browse here, you'll see what I mean. Get me there, SDA1, SDA4, SDA3, super duper duper. So one's me root, one's me home, and one's me boot, as far as I'm aware. That's okay then. Okay, recent files, which is files you've had open, really, nothing else. Under preferences, it's just all your stuff for configuring systems. So configure conky, restart conky, don't, don't restart conky, edit conky, and all that. Eye candy, right, this is a bit I went back and done for you just to see if you'd like it, actually. At the moment, we're running no effects, okay? But say I want it a bit flashy, you know, I want it a bit, say, a bit better. And I want it transparent in, transparency and fading shadows. We just click there and it starts doing it for us. You see what I mean? That's nice, isn't it? Isn't okay, that really nice? Yeah, I like it anyway. So you've got a bit of eye candy, makes it a bit nicer, doesn't it? You can take your screenshot, okay? Don't have to do that really, do we? No, we don't really know. Tint config and all that, as I said before. Input device preferences. User interfaces, user interfaces, even and wallpaper. You get quite a few wallpapers as standard. So shall we change to one? Yes. Why don't we? We'll have that one there. That looks pretty snazzy. Oh, look at it. It's a bit brighter, isn't it? Although I can't, you don't look very good over there with that one, does it? So you'd have to change some things around. Now, if you want your first real go into Arch, I do th recommend Archbang. And then you may have to say, "Oh right, I'm going to go full Arch," and you may not. But give it a go and see what you think. It's really, really easy. They've got you get your shortcut keys over here, so you've got stuff for your system upgrade, which I've already done here. How to lock the system, full script. But you also get, if I do Super R, Super is the old Windows key, if you know what I mean, a complete installation and stuff, and it tells you everything you really need to know. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. <clears throat> if you want to install applications, it's Terminal, by the way. So it's basically Packer, uh, underline, do thing, S, and say Firefox, and it'll go and get it for you. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you want to search for a package, etc., etc., it's all there. So don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Right, we're going to quickly go over to our web browser, and so you can see a bit more about it. So if we go to Internet and Aurora, dun, 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 go straight to the Archbang site. As you can see, this is where you get it from. It comes out twice a year, apparently, okay? But if you want to know about it, all the forums are here too, they're pretty helpful. So yeah, go and give it a go. Lovely, jubbly. Now, I rather like Archbang if you if you want to get into Arch, okay? It's not my preferred distro of choice, but I'm giving you the choice to have a look and go and get it. Out of 100, 90. 
Oh yeah, sneaky. Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.